Hi everyone, today we will discuss about uh, an isometric problem. Uh, it is problem number 12 in question bank. As you can see the problem, a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rests centrally over a cube of side 50 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solids. Here we have two solids. One is cone, another one is cube. Cube side length is given which is 50 mm. Since it is a cube, the height will also be same that is 50 mm. And when it comes to cone, the diameter is given which is 30 mm and height is given which is 40 mm. As they say, the cone is centrally mounted over a cube. So cube first you have to construct a cube. Above that you are supposed to construct a cone. It is a very simplest problem. We will look into it now. Yeah. So here we have a problem once again. A cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm centrally uh, over a cube of side 50 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solids. So we'll start with the thin line. So select line, go to thin line. So draw a horizontal line. Now first I have to construct a cone. So I'll pick a point. The cone uh, uh, first I have to construct a cube. The cube is given whose side length is 50 mm. So 50, 30. Select line 50, 30. Next 50, 150. Next 50 minus 150 then 50 minus 30 so i got the base of the uh, cube now i have to take the height of the cube the height is given uh, which is 50 since it is a cube 50 90 so this is the one of the lateral side now i'm going to select the base which is uh, square of 50 uh, going for more tool turn on the copy command select this point place it exactly at this tip Go to line, join from this corner to this corner, join from this corner to this exact end point and then you can delete these two. These are all invisible edges. So this is a cube of side length 50 mm. Now I have to find the center of this. Just select the corner till here to here. Now here I have to construct a cone. Cone means base will be a circular base. And to construct a circular base, I have to construct another square whose side length should be equal to 30 mm. So instead of constructing again, already I have a square whose side length is 50. I'm going to use that. I'm going to select all of this and uh, go for scale. Here, turn on copy command because original has to remain as it is untouched. I need a copy of this. So turn on the copy command. In scale factor, I required a square of 30 and I have a square of 50. So it is 30 divided by 50 enter. So easily you will get another square. Keep it exactly in the center. Right click. Yes. So easily instead of constructing directly you can go for the uh, move tool and you can construct another square of the uh, different side length based on the ratio. Right. Now I have the center of this. So in, inside this I have to construct a ellipse right corner closest corner to the opposite edge midpoint corner to the opposite edge midpoint then again from here corner to the opposite edge midpoint from here corner to the opposite edge midpoint once you got that uh, here I'm going to use a zoom tool so I'm going to zoom at this area now go to uh, uh, arc by center point select this intersection select this as an end point then draw the arc from here to here till here okay similarly here select this intersection as the center point select this end point as the radius draw the arc then keeping this as a center select this end point as the radius draw the arc from here to here another arc i'm not going to draw because anyways i'm going to delete it so go to line now axis height is given uh, I'm going to fit this axis height is given axis height is 40 so type 40 and axis will be always vertical 90 degree right now again I'm going to use zoom tool take a zoom zoom area zoom this portion take a line pick this end point draw the tangent don't join to this point draw the tangent from here to here again from this end point draw the tangent as you can see the indication there it is a tangent indication once you got that then go to zoom area uh, fit then now 
here what are the things that you have to keep you keep that what are the remains uh, what you do does not require you can delete those just these are all construction lines so i'm not going to keep any of those which are unnecessary so i'm going to select those and i'm going to delete those now after that uh, this is an axis so i'm going to convert that into an axis line third in a row this is an axis now internal lines i have to delete so i'm going to go for a zoom area select this area go to trim trim this trim this trim this trim this right now fit now this is not over yet select entirely whatever you have done so far except the axis and go for a thick line convert that into 0.5 okay now it is visible clearly and now i have to convert into iso some of you will forget that don't do that go for scale factor turn off the copy command in the scale factor 0 0.8164 press enter so it is reduced to iso scale place it exactly where it was before then go to angle between select this select this show the angle which is 30 degree and similarly select this select this and select this show the angle which is 30 degree you can also go for small dimension you can show the height of this which is iso 50 you can also show the height of this which is iso 40 so just select this and this and uh, this is supposed to be blank and select this go to edit here in the prefix it is iso 40 press ok similarly select this go over here in the prefix it is iso 50 press ok right or you can also use the leaders uh, to describe turn on the tail you can just click on this and you can put the leader over here similarly you can put on this and you can show the leader over here select this just extend this like this select this extend it like this and select a text above here since it is a cone you can type it as a cone and uh, here this is a cube so you can type it as a cube so it is the one of the easiest problem so usually we don't go for much of the dimensions but if you have time you can easily go for this uh, uh, important dimensions so that being said thank you we'll meet in the next session